Have all members voted. By a vote of 147 to nothing, the full Texas House expelling member Brian Slayton following an investigation spurred by a series of complaints last month. The committee unanimously recommends expulsion. The General Investigating Committee revealing its findings Tuesday, namely that the 45-year-old Slayton had sex in his Austin apartment with a 19-year-old staffer back on March 31st and April 1st after getting her drunk. His teenage staffer recalls, quote, a lot of alcohol, that she felt, quote, pretty rough, quote, really dizzy, and had, quote, split vision. The probe found she was so drunk she wasn't able to consent. We have grave concerns about statement to others that she would not have done it but for the fact that she was overserved. The probe also revealed Slayton gave alcohol to two of the woman's friends, also 19, and threatened them if they said anything. The female staffers involved were panicked, were in fear of retaliation, in fear of losing their jobs, and in fear of their futures. Slayton's staff, including the woman involved, refusing to speak directly to the committee. She believes that she loves him. And Slayton submitted his resignation on Monday. All of the facts alleged in the report are completely undisputed by Representative Slayton. Still, the House proceeded with expulsion, the first since 1927, so Slayton's removal would be immediate. Mr. Slayton's predatory behavior merits such a consequence. I come from East Texas. We have biblical values. A former youth pastor, Slayton introduced a handful of anti-LGBTQ bills during his two plus years in the House. I would say God has a standard. That he wants us to live by. Mr. Slayton held himself out to be extremely conservative and that he was committed to uh, supporting those values. Now, constitutional law professor Eddie Carter says Slayton could find himself charged with one or more crimes. Alcohol available to a minor, the possibility of sexual assault, of the possibility of obstructing the uh, investigation. The Travis County Attorney's Office says it is aware of the allegations, but no charges have been referred to us by law enforcement at this time. This is a very, very serious matter, not only personally for him, but also legally and also reputationally for the, uh, the House.